Hard work in the blistering sun today. I'm cleaning the sides and top sides of the boat with a cleaner and wax. And I continue the process with just wax, to give tranquility some shine again. with sailing and each other on a sailing school. We bought Tranquility, a 33 foot sailboat to explore the world, but then we got our lovely daughter, Liz. And after two years of sailing with her around the Netherlands, we feel confident enough to live our dream with the three of us. Yes, yes, I know. Boat works. But first... Le to the beach. Le yes, we're going to the beach. Ach, le yeah, <laughs> strand. Strand is beach. We want to see a bit more than the boatyard, so we rent a car and are on our way to Portimao. The beaches in Lagos are very nice as well, but our friends from Sanssouci are at anchor in the bay of Portimao. The kids want to have fun together and it's a short drive. We are going to a beach next to the more busy Praia Grande and walk around Castello de São João Dourada, which is only possible at low tide. Waar zijn we, Lis? In the boatyard, work progresses fast. This is the stainless for our bimini, which will give us more shade in the cockpit. The arch needed to be stronger, so they did a nice job on making small modifications to give the structure more strength. I could not have done this myself. In last week's episode, we told you we had some jobs handed out to the boatyard, like swapping our cracked window for a nice clear one. It would have been a job for me to do, but now we are able to spend some good family time in the Algarve. A view outside in the middle of the boat, crystal clear. So we're back in the car, and where are we heading? Uh, the surrounding near Monchic. Uh, Monchic is a place in, uh, in the mountains in the Algarve. Monchic. It is 
worth a visit just because of the nice road trip to get there. Monchique lies in a surrounding of wooded hills and natural springs. The area is quite the opposite to the busy beaches. Here you will find tranquility. The area invites nature tracks with trails leading you past cork, oak, pine and chestnut trees, accompanied with some nice creeks. Just take a moment and smell the peaceful surrounding. Monchique itself is a charming town with whitewashed houses. It has a lovely square with a lot of flowers. In Monchic you will see the typical chimneys, which are found throughout the Algarve. History is not sure about it, but they seem to be hidden minarets, made by the Moors who still lived there when the Christians took over this area. After Monchique we drove to the amazing bay where we anchored two episodes ago. Weather has changed. It was a peaceful bay, a protected anchorage. And now it's rough, raw, but still beautiful and home to other water enthusiasts now. It's a surf paradise now. All the black dots in the water are surfers because there are some big waves now. A trip down memory lane. Kim and I were here 11 years ago on our second holiday together um, and it's also special because we have sailed past here and you've seen the drone shots of it so I have to take care of it here because it's a uh, cliff so we flew the drone around here and actually with no wind at all conditions are now a bit more heavier we sailed right there around the lighthouse Time to look at the final stages of the boat projects. We start with our anchor. So we decided to put this one in between, a uh, guide for the uh, anchor chain because we now noticed that it was hitting against our forestay and furler when we uh, uh, were using the anchor and now it moves freely around this one. This is the fruel for our salt water intake. There it is. The made fruel. And all you can see there is uh, some sealant coming out. And just like that, our salt water tap is installed. Nicely 
puts aside. It goes, and there's the faucet. Liz, waar gaan we zo naartoe? Oh, en naar boot. Yes, we're going to the boat. En de apanda. Quite a chaos uh, here. Huh? Because uh, we're gonna move into our boat again. And we have to leave the apartment. Uh, we have to be out there at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's uh, 9.15 right now. So, uh, cleaning, cleaning and putting everything in bags. Bye, house. That's it. After almost two weeks on the hard, it's time to move into tranquility again. The apartment was nice, but we missed the life on and around the boat. So first things first, Welcome test back. the salt water intake. Are you happy? I don't know yet. <laughs> right, let's test. Oh! That will save us a lot of water during the dishes! Dishes and laundry. And our final project done. Just in time they installed the Bimini. We've got shade in the cockpit. So we put up a uh, small Bimini in the back there. And then we've got an extension piece which we can zip on when we are at anchor and the boom is out of the way. When sailing we remove this part. And I still have head clearance. Tomorrow we will leave for Madeira. And um, well, we do it multiple times uh, a week, but uh, the day, the evening before we leave, we always check uh, our route. Well, put in a uh, calculation. So what I've uh, been doing now is I uh, downloaded a grip file. So that's the weather prediction for the next 10 days. And I just say, all right, calculate a route to there. And it will use my, uh, that's what's called a polar diagram. That's a, uh, well, a theoretical idea of how fast our boat is going with some types of wind and wind angles. And now you can skip through time and you can see the different wind angles going on there. So if you see here, we are in a yellow area with, uh, that's a lot more wind than in the green area, but it's for us, it's still okay. Uh, wind coming from this direction. So we have the wind from behind, almost from behind. down and you can see wave height and there you will see that we've got three and a half meters of waves at the beginning and then it will go down to two meters of waves at the end so that's a nice thing about this program it can help you decide uh, when you want to leave uh, and choose your uh, best well weather window time frame to go Madeira, Porto Santo. It's a small island above Madeira. 
and the uh, expectation is we're gonna sail for three or four days well, a little bit over three days uh, we just left the coastline we have our new Pimini which provided a nice shade and we've got our sail set up with a double reef in the main and you know out our hydro vane has been uh, dusted off and uh, put to work again so well we're sailing down a beautiful coastline This is just perfect, but now we're still on the windward wall, so there is absolutely no waves at all. Uh, when we're gonna cross Cabo Vicente, Sao Vicente, there are gonna be some waves. It's wavy out there, there are gonna be three meters of waves. We don't know how uh, we're gonna manage those waves. We think it's all gonna work out. If not, we've got our backup plan. If we feel it's too scary for us, we can uh, go back in a circle and come behind Cabo San Vicente again there's an anchor spot over there then we wait one day or two days the waves will be flattened out more and it's perfect for us uh, but we also want to see if we can handle those bigger waves because if we're going to cross the Atlantic uh, we're going to have those waves In the next episode, tables turn, Kim gets very scared and I get injured. In the meantime we have to control the boat, cause she is flying. I went into bed and when I was in my bed I, I was seasick. Bart got um, an injury. So it's uh, quite a bit of diesel leakage. Well, this was it. If you have any questions, please let us know. And for now, goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all.